Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy Newman, and this is GMC's Nets Post Game Plus. After the Nets' first successful Thanksgiving road trip since 1997, they came home to face off against the struggling Grizzlies to try and extend their current winning streak to four in a row. The Grizzlies dominated the first half, but what was, has been typical of the Nets lately is their penchant for coming back. However, in the end, the Grizzlies held off the Nets for the 110-103 win. Let's check out tonight's leading scorers, and there was plenty of offense to talk about. Vince Carter leading the way with 32 points, Richard Jefferson adding 27, Jason Kidd the fourth triple-double of the season for him, Pau Gasol showing the way on the Memphis side of things. There's no excuses. They beat us. You know, we uh, in our building we allowed a team to shoot 50% from the field, 50% from three. Uh, fast break points. You know, they have uh, almost three times as many fast break points. Uh, we put ourselves in a huge deficit, a huge hole. We fought our way back, and then um, you know the plays that we had to make. Because when you put yourself in such a deficit, and then there's certain plays you got to make. We weren't able to do whether it was a key stop or making a, a key shot, we never were able to get over the hump. There wasn't a lead change, and uh, it's just disappointing to lose to lose this game at home. The first quarter, we, we looked pretty good. I mean, I, I think we were getting the shots we wanted. Yeah, they were hitting shots and everything, but we were still in it. And, and in, in the second, third quarter, of course, it's, it's been our Achilles heel. You know, just uh, our slow starts, uh, you know, we, were, we realized that. It's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why. So then are you, you think you like the, the intensity that this team is having throughout? I mean, I think we're, we're up and down. I mean, we definitely want to play at a high level for 48 minutes. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, we need it from everybody. And, you know, like I said, it's just tough when we, we put ourselves, uh, you know, sometimes we'll come out slow and, you know, have a bad second quarter or vice versa or play a pretty good first half, have a slow third quarter, and then we try to, you know, get it all back in the fourth. Um, you know, we, we're just we're trying to be a consistent team, so we just have to keep finding a way. You know, find a way to, to work our way out of it. I mean, it's not going to go as planned all the time, but I think we understand that. But just being consistent you know, is it will, will help, I think. Well, it's always disappointing. Um, you know, especially uh, we thought you know we had found something that we could start building on um, coming off the road. Um, you know, we put ourselves in a hole, but that was nothing new. Um, we've always come back. From 12, 13, 14 points down after halftime, but you know tonight we just could, we dug a hole and we just could never get past. You know, I think I don't know uh, did we get it down to one, um, and we just could never get a stop um, when we had to. So you know, with that, it's a learning experience, and uh, now we can uh, get a little rest and, and get ready for Philly on Saturday. And so the Nets have three off days, but they will be back in action Saturday night at the IZOD Center when they will host the Philadelphia 76ers. Our pregame coverage begins at 7 p.m. Tip-off comes at 7.30. For now, though, I'm Nancy Newman saying thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on GMC's Postgame Plus.